<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our brand new Great Day Connecticut. We're so happy you're here. Happy Friday. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see you on this uh, tomorrow's Waffle Day. Well, yeah, no need to waffle on what you should eat. And absolutely not, Kara. Do you, yes, do you want the healthy protein waffle or no. would you like the regular waffle That's with butter right and there. syrup? <laughs> right there. That's what I want. I think waffles are just better. And the waffle iron was patented back in the late 1800s. Isn't that crazy? That's unbelievable. But the dates of the recipes go back to the 14th century. No, look at these people. What are they doing? What, what's happening? Uh, a Waffle House competition, maybe? Uh, no, that's not acceptable. But in the, it, ba way back when, do you know waffle batter included wine, they say? Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't I like mean, wine, and I don't like wine, period. Well, it must I don't have want been more of a pancakes. savory thing or something. But waffles are just the best. My brother Jeff came over and brought his waffle iron yeah. and made us waffles on Sunday morning. <gasps> so nice. With uh, organic and beautiful maple syrup. Nice. That's the best way. You gotta have the real one that I know you real. sometimes I smuggle into the restaurant. I do smuggle a little bit into the restaurant if they don't have real maple syrup. Because yeah. who wants to order a waffle or a pancake and not get real maple yeah, syrup? Yeah, you don't want the, like the fake sugar want, in that. No. 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 Alright, so cell phone wallet keys. I have all of these. <laughs> these things that come in threes. <laughs> that is my song. That's Kara's song. Been watching this show long enough, you know that that's what I do to make sure that I have things. Now, you do have to check and go, Cell phone wallet keys and actually make sure, but I like that song. So cell phone wallet keys, I have all of these. But a new list reveals the top ten most frequently lost items in America. Let me guess what number one is. The phone. It's this thing. Well, right that's here. the one thing I think people go back for when they leave their house. Oh my God! I you'll I, be like, all right, I, I can live I'm without X, I, Y, or Z. I'll, I'll survive. I'm lucky I have you that lives in my neighborhood who can come to <laughs> bring my phone to work to me. Yeah. So I'm blessed. That did happen once this summer, but I wasn't there, so I couldn't no, get it. No, I know. I was and like, then you asked Caitlin to go. <laughs> now I can't. I can't. I can't. I have to have my phone at work. I just have to. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a second screen. For me as a mom, I don't know how. I mean, I know all you moms at home who are older are probably like, oh, come on, we were fine. But the 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 anxiety I have if oh, yeah. uh, not being able to reach my kids is like, I'm like, what's going on? And who needs a ride? And what's happening? I, I don't think I could function without the phone. Absolutely. Um, but of course, we all just waited, wondering if our mothers would remember to pick us up. Oh, my. When See, we were I... growing up, we were like, did they know? Like, is she coming? She's a little oh late. My, like, that would stress me out to no extent. No, but like when now kids, if you're like two minutes late, they're like, where are Bam. you? Where, where are, are you? you? Where, where are, you? are you? And you're like, I, when you were a kid, like you'd be sitting there with the teacher going, I hope my mom remembered how the exactly. teacher's got us. <laughs> my teachers used to drive us home. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, they don't let you do that anymore. No. Yeah. No, my teachers were like, get in the car, I'll take you home. I was like, all right. Crossing guard, get in the car, I'll drive you home. I told you my crossing guard bought Joe Namath's old car. It was a Cadillac Seville, and in there she found Joe Namath's Christmas list in the back seat. Wow. It was that, like wedged in the back seat. I feel seat. like that would be worth a lot of money. That's what I was thinking, but uh, unfortunately she's passed on. She but, just uh, wanted to save it. Okay, so moms, daughters, let us know what you think about this. No way. It's a mama-daughter sleepover online that has started, uh, well, it started an online pillow fight, so to speak. She's a mom in North Carolina. She's divided the internet because she reveals that she slept over in her daughter's dorm room on her first night away at college. Now, she says, I know not everyone will have this chance, but if you can, do it. I she wrote in her Instagram post. And she said, now, let's just a little explain her, that her daughter Taylor arrived on campus several days before the college roommate because she's a member of the cheerleading team. So the other bed was open. All right. Well, uh, well. Lori's video quickly went viral. Some of them saying, oh, I love it. You're so sweet. I love how you guys have a great relationship. Other people saying the mom overstepped. I guess my opinion is, it's whatever the daughter wanted. If the daughter was like, please stay, I'm alone, and no one's here for days. Exactly. Or if she was like, Mom, it's a little much, I would have left. But 100%. But if I guess if my daughter had said, hey, why don't you just stay until the morning because no one's here, I right. probably would have done the That's same it. thing. Remember when Sandy went to Renee's dorm room? It was unbelievable. <laughs> now, <laughs> me having moved in that day, I would have definitely told my mom, no, I got it. Bye, I see, got you. It. see you later. Me, I would have been like... <laughs> Ma, move in. Uh, that's where my apron is. Well, that's because you didn't even move out. So I didn't you even just move, like exactly. stay. Exactly. At 27 stayed. years old, why would I go there? I'm just going to stay home, or my mom does my laundry and makes and me food. Why not? Just stay home and you save money. All right, here's All right. a dose of cuteness for your Friday. Vets at the Perth Zoo in Australia have been busy rehabilitating a northern oh, look rock at his hair. hopper penguin. Look, look at this, that. Look at this dude. He looks just, oh my gosh, I love it. She was found washed up on a beach in southwest oh. Australia.
Now, rockhoppers are native to islands in the Indian or South Atlantic Ocean, so the poor little guy was quite far from home, Kara. I think someday when I'm done with TV, I just want one of those jobs where you, like, deal with animals oh, all day long. Oh, look at this. They're rehabilitating him. Now, obviously, he can't go back into the wild because he's, you know, been fed by humans. So but she can be matched with a male rock hopper, they say. Absolutely. They're going to match her up in She's another gonna zoo. She's going to find love. <laughs> I found love on a two-way street and lost it on a lonely highway. Okay. Sorry. I, I thought maybe we were going to change the words Who's to that, about Denise penguins. Williams? Uh, yes, it is. I think it is. All okay. right, very good. All Thank right. you. Walmart's going to partner with Burger King. This sounds great. So customers can get a Whopper of a deal. I got it, Karen. You're going to get a subscription. Look at how this guy's holding his Whopper. They're like, you're going to be in an ad. Hold the Whopper very carefully. <laughs> you get a 25% discount on Burger King orders every day and free Whoppers every three months. You have to uh, be a Walmart Plus member and then link your accounts with a free Burger King Royal Perks profile. I think I've shopped at a Walmart twice in my life. And I don't so. go to Burger King. It doesn't, I mean. Burger King is one of my all-time favorites, so I got to I do, honest, but, so. like, I don't go to fast food that much, and I think about a subscription, it would make me go, which I don't want to do. If I, I went to Jersey Mike's yesterday, first oh, of all. Oh, that's good. But that's quality. Like, you can get a good. Yeah. The guys like in Glastonbury did an unbelievable job. So nice. Job. Hi, guys. They're amazing over there. Unbelievable. I, what'd you get? I got the number seven, turkey provolone, the Jersey Mike's way. Yeah, yeah. It was spectacular. Wait, I, I might get it again today. The, the Jersey Mike's way, is that with a special sauce? Because I was No, 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 it. oil and vinegar. Yeah, okay, like that. Yeah. Um, and then they season it with, like, peppers and... Cold uh, or hot? Cold. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, when I went there, I wasn't sure, but I got one of the hot ones. Oh, I got the cold. No, number. just get a number seven, the Jersey Mike's way. You'll be I do set like to go. the turkey and provolone. Turkey and provolone is delicious. All right, well, speaking of eating, can you believe the Big E is only three weeks away? Yeah, one of the wow. best things Make you can room do. Now. <laughs> eat, 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 Kara. Start running every day so you can prepare for the Big E. <laughs> They're debuting about 50 new foods, uh, dozens of them. And uh, we have Abby Carnival and Wesley Days from our sister station in Springfield, Mass. They got a sneak peek of what you can expect to taste. Orders up, my friends. It is the event of the summer. It's the Big E tasting event. It's on everybody's calendars, and the menus are getting a little bit longer this Boy, year. Boy, how did we get so lucky? I truly don't know. I don't want to. I'm not going to ask no, any questions, don't ask. though. Don't ask. This is my favorite day. Yeah. Wesley has the original cream puff that we know and love, but this it's year, still delicious. they've got an exciting one. It's cookies and cream, and inside of that gazebo is plenty of new menu items. We're going to go try them out. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God. OK, you ready? All right, I'm going in, you guys. Here we go. Cheers. <laughs> oh, my God. So this is our new new item this year. This is the maple creamy cannoli. Uh, it's our maple creamy ice cream stuffed into a crispy cannoli shell and it's dusted with powdered sugar and drizzled with our dark organic maple syrup. And that's just one of 50 new items hitting the Big E this September. Another, reimagining the Better Living Center's Crazy Burger. We deconstructed and recreated the Crazy Burger. Two donuts instead of one. We've done an Angus smash burger, followed by bacon, fried onion rings, and cheese. So you get... I'm nervous. My heart is beating really fast. Which one you know what? I? I'll try it with you. You will? I will try it with oh you. Because you're my partner in crime. I'll there try it with you. <laughs> That's the response. Just another dish, leaving many speechless. Those like Eastern States Exposition President and CEO Gene Cassidy. He even got a chance to check out the new dishes. What are you looking forward to this year when it comes to food? All of it. All of it. Is All of absolutely it. I really right. like the fried Oreos. I'm not sure of another place you could get such a good fried Oreo. All right, the Big E runs from <laughs> September 13th through the 29th this year, and both Great Day at 9A and Great Day Connecticut will be there to celebrate Connecticut Day on September 18th. Yeah, we're going to bring our show there. Isn't that exciting? We are? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I just found out. Breaking news. <laughs> what? Well, is somebody going to tell me? We just found out. <laughs> All right, very good. Like, 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 literally, like, right before I came in here. All right, excellent. I guess we're, I anyway, guess we're going to Anyway, I'm telling you now. That's exciting. Yeah. Okay. Bring great. your appetite. All right. I'm a little <laughs> shocked.